हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर गौरव अग्रवाल वर्किंग एज ए पीडाट्रिक कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट एट चिल्ड्रन हार्ट केयर डेली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिम्टम्स ऑफ ए वी कनाल डिफेक्ट और ए वी सेप्टल डिफेक्ट इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म ए वी एच डी और ए वी सी डी और एंडोकार्डियल क्वेश्चन डिफेक्ट सिम्टम्स ऑफ ए वी कनाल डिफेक्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन टू थिंग्स वेदर द होल बिटवीन टू लोअर चैम्बर्स दैट इज नॉन इज द वेंटिकुलर सेप्टल डिफेक्ट एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर इज लार्ज और स्मॉल and the artery that arises from third number chamber known as right ventricle the artery is known as the pulmonary artery whether the stenosis in the pulmonary artery or narrowing in the pulmonary artery is there or not in first case when the ventricular septal defect is very large and there is no uh, narrowing in the pulmonary artery in that case the child will be very symptomatic after one and half month to two months of age in the form of heart failure that will present as difficulty in breathing difficulty in feeding frequent sweating over forehead poor weight gain frequent pneumonias and frequent history of hospitalization that will increase gradually over a period of months in this form second situation can be when the vhd is very small ahd is very large and there is no narrowing in the pulmonary artery in that case also the patient will not be symptomatic the patient will not have any symptoms then how will you come to know that child is having some form of heart disease the your pediatrician or physician will auscultate here and will found there is some sound over the heart that is known as the murmur by hearing the murmur uh, you will come to know that child is having some form of heart disease and then you will go to the nearest pediatric cardiologist he will do the echocardiogram and will let you know that child is having a bigger hole in the heart in the form of atrial septal defect small hole in the form of ventricular septal defect with no narrowing in the pulmonary artery third situation can be when the vhd is very large and there is a severe narrowing in the pulmonary artery in that case the child will be very blue immediately after birth or within few days and weeks of after birth the blueness will increase over a period of time and we have to intervene as early as possible in this type of situation fourth situation can be in the form of when the vhd is very large and the pulmonary stenosis is neither mild not severe in the form of mediocre moderate type of stenosis is there in that case this situation is known as the balanced circulation type of situation in which the patient will not have any symptoms uh, as i describe in the first case in the form of heart failure but the patient will have history of poor weight gain and your nearest pediatrician will let you know that child is having some form of uh, heart murmur and then you will undergo the echo scan and will you uh, will uh, let you know that child is having some form of heart defect fifth situation can be when the vhd is very large and there is no narrowing in the pulmonary artery uh, and the child presents after 9 months or 12 months of age the patient will gradually go into a situation known as the eisenmenger like of situation in which the patient is gradually going into uh, into a situation when the patient cannot be treated at this point of time in eisenmenger like of situation the first symptom will be difficulty in breathing when doing some form of physical activity like exercise running and other things gradually the patient will be uh, will present in the form of cyanosis or bluishness of fingers and lips of muc and mucous membrane so the message by this video should be like that the patient should be treated whenever diagnosed as early as possible for more detail you can log into my website childrenheartcare.com thank you very much